Well, uh, I started Bacon's Rebellion in the year 2002. I was publisher of Virginia Business Magazine at that time. Didn't think that uh, print publications had the greatest uh, future. Uh, I'm, glad to know, I'm glad to say that Virginia Business is still alive uh, 20 years later, even though I'm no longer associated with it. So I, I give kudos to uh, the, the owners uh, of the publication. But uh, I was overall, I was right. The newspaper industry has, has been just decimated and has gone through uh, wrenching economic changes as well as philosophical changes. And uh, I, what has happened now, there's been a generational, I guess one, one of the big changes has been a generational change. And uh, a young, a kind of a new cadre of young reporters, has, has, a young journalist, has uh, come to the fore in the newspapers. And they brought a whole different set of values and perspectives. And, and they are much more much more liberal, I would say liberal to progressive uh, in, in nature. And uh, ironically, while the reporting and, and the commentary has gotten more and more liberal and left-leaning, um, the r remaining readership of newspapers, those people who still read newspapers and haven't all uh, migrated to social media or whatever else, tend to be older and more conservative. And, you know, just the old guys who still, I always got my newspaper and I still I read it every morning and over my coffee and, and I'm not going to change. So those guys are still getting the newspaper. But what's happening is they're going, oh my God, I can't believe what these people are writing about. And uh, so there's a huge opportunity has been created, uh, not just nationally, we see national blogs and publications flourish all over the place but locally too. And uh, so Bacon's Rebellion has a focus on uh, state and local government and public policy issues. And that's our niche. We try to stick to it. We don't try to talk about what's going on in Washington, D.C., except occasionally as maybe um, stuff rolls downhill and has an inf in, in, uh, impact on us. So um, there is a void. Uh, there's people are crying out for credible news and, and uh, commentary that's fact-based and not just like wild, crazy stuff. Uh, that's not um, you know, conspiracy mongering or, <laughs> or I mean, there's some of that out there on the internet. Uh, but people, there's people crave credible news. And uh, that's what we try to provide. So the people who write them for the Bacon's Rebellion are, are, some of them are former journalists, some of them are uh, uh, professionals, uh, retired government uh, professionals, uh, but people who know what they're talking about. And they know uh, it's based on, on hard data. It may not be as exciting as uh, uh, or, or may not generate as many click-throughs as QAnon or something like that, but uh, it is credible and it does fill uh, a, a huge void.